number 40, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We're counting down today's juiciest stories, mga local man o international. Marami tayong masasabi today. OMG! It's a Monday. Simulan natin with today's number 10. All right, bago ang mainit na talakayan tungkol sa Miss Universe, umpisahan muna natin ang first look sa biopic ni Amy Winehouse. All right, yup, 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 the biopic is coming. It's gonna be juicy. We do know the life story of Amy Winehouse and in recent pop culture years, naabutan natin yan, okay? Huwag ka tayo mag-deny. Yung mga Gen Z na lang hindi ata kilala pa si Amy Winehouse. But anyway, the studio behind it unveiled the first look of Marissa Abella as the Grammy winning artist. Studio Canal also asked that they are partnering with Focus Features and Monumental Pictures for the music drama feature. It is directed by Sam Taylor Johnson. So guys, the biopic is entitled Back to Black and it will feature the vibrant years of Amy Winehouse in London and her intense journey to fame and what fame can do. The production will start soon according to Variety, but we're gonna give you the re release date because we know that it's different for country and depending on the post-production ano nila, schedule nila, diba? But anyway, guys, with this, we're moving on to number nine. For number nine, we're going local. Gladys Guevara is speaking up after being linked to Pambansang Kulokoy. What? Involved tayo? Social media personality Joel Medina or Pambansang Kulokoy introduced her girlfriend sa vlog recently. So the woman in the video was wearing shades and face mask through the vlog. After it was released, and that is as we're quick to speculate that it is indeed Gladys Guevara. The comedian quickly denied the rumors linking her to the Pambansang Kulokoy. Hindi siya baka kaloka like lang. In her Facebook post, Gladys posted a video showing her body asking that it's mukha ba akong nanganak? Wow! Sorry naman sa'yo. Nahurt ako doon na. Dahil nanganak na ako. Anyway, she even told the basher to stay calm amid the allegations of her being the other woman. It can be recalled that Pambansang Kolokoy got separated with longtime wife and admitted that he has a girlfriend. Gladys, on the other hand, tied the knot to a non-celebrity partner. O, oh, diba? At isa pag-usapan siya. Anyway, we're moving on to top eight. Main Mendoza hits back at a netizen who called her Suplada. Alam mo, I'm with Main on this one, guys. A photo of a netizen in Singapore with Main Mendoza went viral after posting the pic and calling Main Suplada. That photo was tweeted by another netizen and that caught the attention of Maine. She did describe her experience with a group of Filipinas at a shop in Singapore. Ito ang sabi ni Maine. She shot back! Sabi niya, if I came off as Supladita... As at a sales associate in Bath and Body Works, me and Mall have said to every Filipino inside the store, even to my friend, eh, deserve nga naman. Sana, tinarayan ko na nga talaga. Bastos si SA and the group of girls. Bastos at makakapal ang mukha. She said, eto pa, may patutsyada pa si Maine. She ain't holding back, people. Sabi nga niya, worst experience niya with a kababayan abroad. Sabi niya, Oh, if you only know how disrespectful and entitled those ladies were, especially the sales associate, ay, maloloka ka naman talaga. By far, the worst experience interaction with kababayans abroad. Bastos, she said. The netizens who posted the photo with Maine has taken down her post and turned her profile private amidst the issue. And with this one, honestly, guys, totoo na may tao lang yung mga personality, tao lang yung mga celebrity na yan. Marami rin silang pag nagdadaanan, kagaya mo, kagaya ko. Diba? And, syempre, yung mga ganong klaseng moment, dapat na decipher din natin kung personal or public time nila yan with the fans. Alam ko, it's part of public territory, diba? Public, uh, ano sila, diba? Showbiz personality sila. It comes then with their territory. Pero matuto tayo kasi, di ba, si Bad Bunny nga, nung ano, no? nung dinagsa, nung makikiselfie sa kanya, mas malala pa yung ginawa ni Bad Bunny. Parang gusto lang rin sabihin in the age of social media ng ating mga personality, na yun na nga, di ba? They're also human, they also value their alone time. And if you could spare them a little bit of courtesy for that one, that would be good. But syempre, kailangan pa ni Maine 
palawigin ko ano yung sinasabi nga niya na naging disrespectful, di ba? But the point na tinurn down na nga yung ano no, yung post nung babae. Kasi pinost niya pa talaga, di ba? Kailangan niya pa ipagkalat. Parang what for, di ba? Ano yon Para makapanirang puri ba? O ano? But anyway, at least na-settle na nga yan. Nag-private na na account. Si Main Chinair na yung kanyang yung post dito. Mag-move na tayo lahat at i- let's both learn from each side of the story. Yung experiences na yan and, what, and the lessons we can pick up from it. Anyway, guys, mag-move on na tayo ngayon sa number seven. Eto na, talagang no chill na miss ng social media nga ba si Kanye West? Siya laman, o di ba bago mag Miss Universe si Kanye West? Eto yung mga hot topic na Grimery. At eto na ha, Ye or Kanye reportedly married the architect of Yeezy, Bianca Sensori, that's according to TMZ. Sources said that the two had a private ceremony to celebrate their love and they were spotted wearing what it looks like wedding bands. The sources noted that the design didn't seem to be legal as they didn't file for a certificate. So parang mga ano lang to, yung commitment ring. Ganun. The news came two months after Ye finalized divorce to ex-wife Kim Kardashian. So Ye and Bianca are are yet to comment but they got papped around of course where they've been going so ibig sabihin gusto nila magpakita o oh, di ba pwede mo sana magtago lumang na nagdala yung mga paparazzi spots na yan anyway mag number 6 na tayo local ulit sa number 6 Tony Gonzaga's producer Joed uh, Serrano did speak up on the concert ticket sale. So last week, konting backtrack tayo. Naalala nyo, di ba? Na si, si Tony sinabi, hindi lang nabibenta kanyang ticket sa upcoming concert and birthday concert niya the coming this week. Ayaw! Eto na, nagsalita na si Joy Serrano, ang producer niya, at sinabi nga, no, na, ano, sa statement, 55% daw ng tickets have been sold already. Yan yung latest count. So kala, more than half naman daw. 20%, yung sponsors na nag-pledge as in daan-daang libo ang binayad dyan ng ilan sa mga major sponsors si Tony, mga endorsements niya tapos yung mom din daw ni Tony si Mommy Penty, nagbayad ng 350 tickets para sa mga kaibigan relatives, churchmates na nag-order and tatlong daan daw si Joe Edu bought tickets from for friends na nag-order din para sa kanya via Ticketnet he also reminded the public that to avoid being negative by for 15% pa na hindi pa nabibenta ng tickets and Tony will be having the concert at Araneta Coliseum. Let's see kung mapupuno nga ni Tony. And that's not the issue from now for for now, right? Because the the thing here is Tony wants to celebrate her anniversary and her birthday. So let her be, right? Anyway, guys, we're halfway on the countdown. We're moving on to number five. <laughs> All right, badass Dolly De Leon did receive the award from Los Angeles Film Critics Association. Fresh from her Golden Globe nomination, Dolly De Leon is still in the U.S. for some engagement, and her latest one is getting the award for Best Supporting Actress at the Los Angeles Film Critics Association Awards for Triangle of Sadness. And as seen in the photo, she is with Kei Hyu Kwan, who has won Best Supporting Actor for Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Uh, in her speech, she thanked the LAFCA for recognizing her talent and for the inclusion and representation. Congratulations, Dolly De Leon. All right, for number four, Vice Ganda teases Wong Navarro It's Showtime Comeback. Yes, Vice Ganda confirmed by magbabalik daw ngayong linggo sa It's Showtime. So noong biyernes kinwento nga ni Vice na merong sabik ng makabalik sa Showtime this Monday, she did invite a certain person to carry the excitement in his return after all the things that they went through. No names mentioned, but yes, uh, Bong got, a, got out of jail last December after paying the 1 million peso fine for his rape case. Anyway, guys, we're down to our top three celebrity stories. At number three, we're going to talk about this. Miss Universe! Yes, the new queen with Filipino blood. Number two, we're gonna talk about, of course, the proud kababayan, Celeste Cortesi. Pag-usapan natin yan at ang kanyang splendid, splendid na paghanda para sa pageant. And of course, for number one, 
Pag-usapan pa rin natin si our Bonnie Gabrielle who is already planning her visit to the country. But before that, we do have our celebrity billboard reveal. Yes, Team Philippines won the M4 World Championship. We would like to congratulate the team of Echo Esport for winning the M4 World Championship at the Tennis Indoor Sinayan Indonesia, beating the Blacklist International. Echo team won $300,000 or nearly 16.5 million pesos. That is significant. Also, Barangay Ginebra did win the PBA Commissioner's Cup after beating Bay Area 114.99 at the historic crowd of almost 60,000 at the Philippine Arena. Siyempre, marami tayong celebrity spotting. Nandiyan si Anjo Eliana, Jano Gibbs, Philip Salvador, Daniel Padilla, at marami pang iba. O, oh, ba? Diba? Anyway, eto na. Time na na mag-miss universe tayo. Marami tayong thoughts tungkol dito. Bring it up on number three. Yes, meron na tayong bagong Miss Universe. Another history has been made. Filipino-American Arboni Gabrielle is the first ever to win both pageants Miss USA and Miss Universe of Filipino-American descent. She did best 83 candidates from around the universe with her wit, charm, charisma, and intelligence, especially in the Q&A rounds. First runner-up was Venezuela, while second runner-up was Dominican Republic. Joining her in the top five were Curaçao and Peru. She has yet to fulfill her reign as Miss Universe in both New York and Bangkok, where the new owner of MUO is located. She is set to travel the world for some advocacy projects, stints, and representation. Congratulations, Arbani! Number two, what happened to Celeste Cortesi? Well, we just want to say thank you, of course, to the hard work Celeste has pulled off. She has been training years for the pageant. Her character development is top notch. So then anyway, our 12 year streak in the semifinals ended after Celeste Cortesi failed to get to the top 16 of Miss Universe. And despite breaking the winnings at the semifinals after more than 10 years, of course, we are still so proud because of the hard work. Hindi po biru yan. Para silang mga sundalo, guys, sa kanilang mga ginagawa. That's how you best put it. Para silang sundalo. As in, umaga pa lang, nagtitraining na yan. Q&A, character development, at kung ano-ano pa, di ba? So, everyone felt for Celeste when the photos of her weeping after the semifinalists were called circulated online. And sa uh, one balita nga kahapon, Ferdinand Abejon of Eventology has this to say about what happened. Take a listen. Siguro yung changes ng bagong owners of the targets, nagkaroon sila ng ibang criteria to get the top 16. And si Celeste naman, hindi naman siya ang kanyang dati kanyang mga kaya. Although siyempre, yung ibang bansa din naman, yung ibang targets, they do their own naman sa contest. So hindi natin alam kung ano ang nangyari sa close door interview but at the preliminary round, hindi din naman ang kailangan ng kanyang ang best to represent the team. At ako naman, personally, you know, nakita na natin si na Anja Kajuta Tip, nakita na natin yung force for good, the new ownership, the level of the judges, and what they are looking for. The eras really differ when someone new takes ownership of the organization from Trump time to IMG time to, to now it's Anja Kajuta Tip's time, right? The Thai billionaire owner. And she is looking for a transformational leader. And I'm not saying Celeste doesn't have it but we saw Celeste from her Miss Earth days from her early pageant days alam na nating sobrang lakas talaga ni Celeste she is her at, she is at her best form but yun na nga no hindi lang talaga naaayon sa kanya yung hinahanap ng mga judge kumbaga ang hinahanap nila yung parang pinanganak pa lang ata nagtumutulong na parang ganoon di ba nakakaloka kasi si Arboni talagang ano siya no Siya nagtatahi na sarili niyang damit. May mga ganong level, o, oh, ba? But anyway, Celeste overall performance was really good. Kumbaga, wala tayo naging problema sa kanya. Fashion, fashionista siya, ba? Pag Q&A, napakagaling sumagot. She is at her most uh, beautiful self already. So I do know that after she did post on her Instagram saying that, what she really needs to focus on is herself and that's what's important to make 
her happy and we all can learn from her journey honestly because sinasabi nga niya no hindi niya dapat daw yung sa latest Instagram post niya na hindi dapat niya iniisip yung iisipin ng ibang tao at yung mga dapat niyang yapak na sundan dapat niya raw sundan yung yapak na para sa kanya oh ang ganda na sinabi ni Celeste di ba yan yon so let's learn from that and congratulations pa rin kay Celeste i know you will have a greater future ahead of you Yes, but with that, we're moving on to number one. Miss Universe, our Bonnie Gabrielle, set to visit the Philippines. She is indeed a proud Filipina, although she did represent the United States of America at the Miss Universe. Alam naman natin, global na tayo ngayon. Our Bonnie Gabrielle already revealed plans to visit Manila to launch a sewing workshop for young girls here. The 28-year-old Philam is actually a lead sewing instructor at Houston-based nonprofit design house where they give a creative outlet for ladies who are victims of trafficking and domestic violence. In a press conference after the coronation, our Bonnie thanked her Filipino fans for the love and support. She is the daughter of a Filipino immigrant father and an American mother. Take a listen. Mabuhay Philippines, mabuhay Filipino fans. Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng tulong ninyo. The support is everything. I feel it in my heart. I heard it in the room. It was an amazing energy. The Filipino blood is so strong. We are hardworking, we're fun, and we're determined. And I am so proud to be a half Filipina. Grabe naman kasi, nakita naman natin si Arboni dumating pa lang. Nasa top 5 siya ng mga listahan ng lahat ng mga ano no, Pinoy um, pageant enthusiast. Nasa listahan ko rin siya. Malakas talaga yung dating ni Arboni, pero pinakita niya that she owned the crown that night sa coronation. And I always say that, uh, having been covering Miss Universe since like, ayoko na, 10 years na, okay. Pero masasabi talaga natin, pagka, pagka yung babae ay mananalo, the mismong night itself, kahit sabi mo sobrang lakas, except for Catriona, may exception kay Catriona, na sumapapala kasi siya, alam na ng mga tao na siya na mananalo. Pero dito... Al al lakas lakas na sa prelims nito si Arboni pero bumongga pa siya lalo nung coronation sa ano no sa mga Q&A na tinanong sa kanya na talagang natural niyang sinagot sabi nga nila di ba nung mga judge na nakausap natin bago yung pageant ang hinahanap nila hindi rehearsed kundi natural at siya siya na talaga yan para sa kanya talaga yan kaya sa kanya na corona ang Miss Universe nakakatuwa lang na parang feeling pa rin ng mga Pilipino hindi sila nalugi kasi syempre di ba uh, part of her, of course, of course, even though she hails from another part, another country in the world, in the universe, she is Filipino. And that's what matters to us as well. And we will see her soon here in our shores. All right, that's it for today. Thank you guys. Before we end, of course, magpaka-safe pa rin tayo from COVID-19. Mask if you must, disinfect, continue social distancing and get vaccinated. I'll see you tomorrow, mga kapatid. 4.45 tayo, 1 News, 1 PH, and Radio 592.3 News FM. Ako po si MJ Marfori. Maraming salamat for joining us. If you have comments, violent reactions, send them our way. O ba? Meron tayong YouTube, meron tayong Facebook. O, at sumasagot ako sa social media ko, MJ Marfori, all across. Maraming maraming salamat, guys. I love you. Ta-ta! This is Celebrity Top 10. Hey!